Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading, you versus them reading for September. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're returning or coming back, thank you, thank you. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody or that you do have with somebody. You do have to know them. You don't necessarily have to be together. So you could be dating, getting to know, separated. Uh, it could be an ex, it could be someone you have a crush on, uh, however it works for you. So we're going to take a look at the energy, how you're feeling about them, they're feeling about you, the mutual energies between the two of you, and see what's going on for you, Cancer. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, so please only take it how it resonates for you. Not everything in here may resonate. Please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, or future. You could switch around the energies as much as you'd like to. Since this is, is a you versus them, I'll have you one side, them on one side. So if any time you feel like the roles are reversed, please feel free to do that. All right, Cancer. Welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Cancer singles for September. So we do have Venus here, which is the planet of love. This could be Libra, Taurus doesn't have to be. And I'll mention the signs as I see them. So it could be signs in your chart, signs in their chart, just the energy. So take it how it resonates for you. So this is the planet of love, love and beauty and everything that has to do with it. So we are definitely talking about love here. And 16 is seven. So seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So we are talking about love. So let's see what's going on for love for you, Cancer. So I'm going to pull a message, opening message here on your connection, and then I'll clo uh, close out with a closing message, which I'll show you at the end. So if you do stick to out to the end, if this does resonate for you, Cancer, there will be an extended reading, and at the end of the reading, I will tell you all about that. So let's see for Cancer. Let's get you an opening message and a closing message for Cancer, and whoever they're thinking about at this time for this reading. So that's your closing message. We have loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So very loyal energy between the two of you. In love and loyal. Well, can't, so I could just end the reading right now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see, obviously, if, you, if you're here, there might be an issue or something you're worried about or something you're wondering about. So we're going to see what's going on. So one for you. I'll put you here. I'll put them here. Mutual in the middle. Again, switch the energies anytime you see fit. So everything you need to know, Cancer, is down in the description box, the decks I'm using, social media. Uh, your playlists are down there, Love in General. If you'd like to check them out, I do consider them timeless. All your August readings are up. Your Love Connection for August, your Singles, and your No Contact Love reading. And your general readings are all up, and you can find those in your playlists. All right, for Cancer. And if you are new or you're returning but have not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. You can check it out first, see what you like. And please do subscribe, uh, like, share, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out if you do. Thank you, and welcome to the family. And Cancer, there are now um, memberships on the channel, so if you're interested in that, Click the join button, see what I have to offer, or find all that info down in the description in the pin top, top comment. Okay, Cancer. Let's get one for you, one for them, and let's get the mutual energy for Cancer Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Someone rising in Venus, male or female. All right, let's see what we got. So for you, we have. This is the mass, so 40 is 4, which is a very stable energy. And we do have the sun and the moon, so that's the masculine and feminine energy. So, I mean, you could be just very balanced between your masculine and your feminine energy and feeling very stable at this time. But, you know, this does have a mask here, so, you know, could there's three masks there, so it could be about, you know, people not really showing who they truly are, saying how they truly feel, kind you know, kind of covering up how they truly feel. Or you're just very balanced between those uh, feminine masculine energies. And your person has here uh, the fish, which is all about growth and abundance and prosperity. And whenever I see all these fish, kind of, these two fish here, it kind of reminds me of Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. 
We have the King of Pentacles down here, which could be Virgo, 34-7. Again, very spiritually, um, 7 coming in twice here. So if 7 is a number for you, you may want to look that up. But for me, it's all about a spiritual, uh, spiritual energy and divinely guided energy. King of Pentacles here. So very stable, grounded, secure energy. Uh, the Pentacles energy is usually that divine counterpart, like marriage material, you know, so they may see you as marriage material. All right, so let's see what the mutual energy is here. So we do have the birds. So this could be about gossip. This could be just about socializing, community, um, could be about messaging, news, communication. But we do have a seven again with the seven of Pentacles, but seven of Pentacles about assessing, waiting, analyzing, being patient, and not taking any action just yet. But we do have two, uh, 12 here, which is 3, which is about teamwork, collaboration, um, uniting, reuniting, building a foundation, building on something. So, so the mutual energy here is wanting to build on something, but yet maybe not communicating that, kind of assessing and waiting. But I feel like this person over here definitely sees you, and the connection is very something stable, grounded, abundant, prosperous, you know, wanting to be maybe like husband or wife material or wanting, you know, seeing you in that energy also. It's kind of like a stagnant energy here with the Seven of Pentacles not really taking action. It could be both worried about what others might say, what others might think, gossip or something like that. So, but I do say very loyal and like in love energy. So, all right. Or there's a need to be more in that energy. So let's get some... For you, Cancer. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Magician. So laying down a heavy burden to start a new beginning. Manifest something new here, Gemini Virgo. Queen of Swords. So you could have been could have been recently divorced. Because the Queen of Swords is a Libra. But that could be somebody who's been recently widowed, divorced, has just been through a lot in life, a lot of lessons, challenges. Um, trials and tribulations, you know, and now is not afraid to speak the truth, tell it like it is, use that sword to cut away energy is not serving them, very clear-cut communication, sometimes can be a little cold with their tongue. All right, what else here for Cancer? Emperor, wow. So, I mean, this is a very masculine energy coming on your side. So you could be a male watching this, or you could be a feminine with a lot of um, masculine energy. Six of Swords. So moving ahead here to peace, harmony, and balance, leaving all the BS behind, taking control, charge in the world, closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. So it could be cancer that you haven't really been upfront and honest with your person here because you have the mask, maybe not really telling them exactly what happened either in your past or, you know, what kind of ending you just went through, like the truth about it, like like real what really happened in your uh, past relationship. Um, because I see here you close out a, ch a chapter or cycle here with the world, which could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. So you definitely have closed out a chapter. There could be distance between the two of you, travel, worldwide web communication. Uh, but you definitely laid down a heavy burden, like no more of that, took control, closed out that chapter, moving forward. And you've been through it here with the Queen of Swords, but you're manifesting a new beginning into a more comf comfortable, um, better place leaving all that BS behind. I mean, it could be with this person, but I don't really, I don't really sense that. Okay, so let's see how your person is feeling. Seven of Wands. So they don't want to give up. <laughs> they don't want to give up on this connection. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to put it, want to put in the dedicated effort, effort, and the hard work here with the Eight of Pentacles. It's too many. What else here for your person? Wheel of Fortune. So they feel like Sagittarius is divinely guided spiritual energy, um, divine timing, fate, destiny, something meant to be, something going in the right direction. So we have, she's, she's spinning something here which looks like a wheel. Well, she's spinning on a wheel. And we have the wheel here. So they're definitely feeling like this is a divinely guided spiritual something meant to be connection. Okay, what do we have here? 
but they're feeling a little sadness and loss right now. And we do have, again, teamwork collaboration here, wanting to build build on something new, build a new form foundation with you. But we have this Three of Swords energy of heartache and pain. So I feel like... I feel like, you know, the threes, we have, we have two threes here. Um, because sometimes represent third party. For me, it's usually... Well, usually the three of swords, but um, it could be the third party over here from your side. It's just you dealing with this energy, and maybe you know you've cleared your energy, maybe you've divorced already or whatever. But for some reason, that that past energy is still like daunting you, even though you're trying to move on and manifest a new beginning. Something about it is still like daunting on you and affecting the connection. So it's acting as a third party um, in this connection. So they're feeling you know heartbroken and sad over this because they really want to put the work in here with the three and the eight of pentacles you know that would be 11 and that would be have the twin flame number they definitely want to do that you know but they could see they see here that you have your walls up just a little bit and the seven of wands can be a little defensive but definitely you know fate and destiny with the wheel of fortune feeling like this is you know very divinely guided um energy between the two of you so the mutual energy here is you know the birds here, which could be about gossip, news, communication. So, yeah, I feel like they're waiting on communication from you on justice here, divorce. I said that right along, Libra, Ten of Cups. So this was a happy home and family, children. I mean, you could have children, they could have children. Maybe they're wanting children with you. And I feel like they're wanting this Ten of Cups with you, but they also know you're ending a Ten of Cups situation. So I feel like they're waiting on that news that you've completed that cycle especially with you having the world card here. So bringing them clarity and uh, balance on the situation. So I think they're just waiting for you um, to free yourself of this justice energy to have the Ten of Cups with you. Somebody here may have tattoos on their arm, arm like an armband. Okay, so let's see. A couple more here for the mutual energy. Ten of Pentacles. This is my marriage card. And justice here. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely ended a marriage. And the other is waiting on news that, okay, this marriage is done. It's over. It's complete. And waiting to move forward in this new Ten of Cups energy. One more. One more. Four of Pentacles. But holding back. So there's an energy of holding back right now. So I feel like... They know that you're holding back. There's an the energy here of you both knowing, you know, you know, we have to hold back right now while we complete one cycle before we start another cycle. So that could be why there's not really any communication between the two of you. Four of Cups, so yeah, sadness, boredom, melancholy energy. Two of Pentacles, trying to balance everything out. The Hermit, yeah, so definitely retracting your energy from one another, going within, thinking, contemplating, healing. Finding, you know, your way, your path, your light. Very deep down soul searching here with the Hermit, Virgo energy. But here's a stable new beginning here. And the Empress. So somebody, somebody definitely here could be um, a mother or they're wanting, you know, to have a family with you. But this is the birth of something new, Libra Taurus, and there's that Venus energy. So this is a divine counterpart. And here is the birth of something new, which is this stable, grounded, long-term offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. So now we have the King of Swords, which is a match to the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles is a solid offer. So once your person, I feel it's you, once you become a match to your person, then there will be the solid offer. You know, once it could be, you know, you just communicating to them, because that's the energy here. Okay, I'm free, I'm clear. You know, you know what are we going to do here? And here's a stable offer. So either them offering that to you or you offering it to them to bring in balance into this connection. I feel. Wow. Okay, so we're going to go into the extended now um, cancer. So if that resonated for you, and I'll show you your closing message in a minute. If that resonated for you, links are below. Uh, description box, top comment. Vimeo Patreon, Vimeo one at a time purchase. Patreon is a monthly membership. It gives you access to all extends from my YouTube channel. Uh, it is a monthly membership. They charge the first of every month. So if you join now, they're going to charge you again on the first. 
So if you're interested in the extended, um, whatever works for you best, Vimeo or Patreon. So let's see what your closing message is. We have forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Exactly. So, Cancer, you may have to forgive your past and so you can move on. Um, I do feel like we had a matching couple here. It's divinely guided uh, soulmate, possibly twin flame energy. I'm feeling more soulmate, but it's going to take you forgiving and healing the past and definitely moving on from that so that you can be with this new, loving, loyal, um, stable partner coming in for you. Okay, Cancer, uh, if you go to the extended, I'll see you over there. If not, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.